the next question is my first tattoo so my first tattoo would be hey guys welcome back to girl guitar precious as always and thank you so much for the likes and the love on my previous videos for the shares i see it all and i am so grateful and guys today i'm here with a sit down video and i just want to talk about like not really talk about i've been seeing a lot of youtubers do this video of like the first time tag thing and i just thought to jump on it i know it might be quite old or something of that nature but i just thought to you know jump on the trend and i'll be answering questions on my first time and the likes right so if this is something you want to watch or if something you are open to knowing my first time trying stuff or doing some things please stick through to the end i hope this video is exciting i hope you like it yeah and if you've not subscribed at this point please click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when i post new videos and yes let's get right into the video the first question is my first time getting into trouble in school so my first time getting into trouble in school i can only, only remember once that was in secondary school i really do not have like i don't i was really a good kid in primary school i'm still a very good kid but trust me what's actually got me into trouble in secondary school wasn't serious it was a time when we were in class and it was food food that got me into trouble um i'm usually not someone that makes trouble i'm usually very quiet i think yeah and that day we were in class and for some reason it was like before break so i had my lunch in my bag and i was really hungry for some weird reasons and like it was i think it was potato and eggs like fried potato chips like potato chips and eggs sweet potato and i really love sweet potatoes and fried eggs so that was what i had to school that morning that was what was in my lunch box and i was really hungry like i just wanted to eat so i brought out my food and i was eating and unfortunately the principal admin right not the vice principal admin she was doing like the rounds going around the classes and for some reason usually somebody would alert and say oh this person is coming and everybody we are all put together and you know <laughs> so she came in and she found me eating and then she asked me to go out and put my food on my head while i knelt down like by the door as stupid as i was i was kneeling down on my punishment and i was still eating <laughs> and then she found me eating again whilst i was on punishment like she really like she beat the hell out of me that morning and yeah if that counts that's my first time getting into trouble something like that yeah the next question is first time driving to be honest the first time i drove i think was when yeah that was in 20 2017 or so or 2016 my my friend then was teaching me how to drive and yeah that was the first time i actually drove it wasn't chaotic as i thought but it was actually good that was my first time actually driving or the first memory i have of actually driving i think yeah the next question is the first time i drank drank is it tea or oh, soft drink okay well i know the question the first time i actually drank alcohol the time i can remember was i really cannot remember the year exactly but i was in port harcourt i actually went to visit a friend so we went out and if you know snap right he ordered snap like it was like a group outing thing so he ordered snap i didn't know what it was that was my first time actually saying snap and i didn't know he had alcohol because usually i don't drink i didn't know he had alcohol and then for some reason it was tasting like la casera and like i drank like i drank all of it and then he ordered another bottle i didn't know at that point i didn't know he had alcohol because i drank it like he was drinking la casera because it tasted so much like la casera like he had this alcohol taste so it was really nice at a point i started feeling like is it tipsy i wasn't drunk but i i wasn't I, like I, I felt like something was wrong 
at that point like i was trying to lay my head on the table because i was not feeling great and then for some reason i had to check the like you know the bottles content and then i saw that it had alcohol in it and i was asking him like you didn't tell me this in alcohol and he said oh i thought you used to drink and i'm like from where to when me drink how like so since then like that was actually my first time drinking and i wasn't drunk but i felt tipsy yeah the next question is my first scam guys this one they did not carry me or they did not kill me or they did not kidnap me till tomorrow is still the grace of god so like this story i it's even embarrassing saying it so in secondary school or in uni okay when i finish secondary school i usually there's my uncle i would usually go to his shop to help him because i'm usually very business minded like i'm really good with when it comes to business and you know talking to people and influencing people to buy things like my mouth is too sweet right so i'm usually good because he always loves me coming to the shop to help out and usually he would always send me to the bank with a bulk sum of money when i tell you bulk sum of money he would usually send me to the bank with that and i've never really had any issue at all with going to the bank or paying in money or anything like that so and again it is during christmas so guys please be safe out there this is the season where people get scammed a lot so please stay safe out there like be very very careful because i remember it happened around this time it was on a saturday morning i was also, i was going out to to the shop as always i like i would and i was standing at the bus stop and then somebody came up to me and said oh please she's looking for she's looking for a hospital right and i'm like oh i know that there is this um there's this clinic i usually go to run test and all and i tried um like directing her towards the place and like with the innocence of my heart like because she really felt like she was sick and she needed urgent 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 care so i told her okay there's this hospital at this end like you can go check them and she's like oh they're not open yet at the moment and i'm like oh that's true they usually open around nine but you can stick around somewhere and just wait or you go to the general hospital so i, I was actually giving her like places to go to and while i was supposed to be talking someone came to me like they usually are in group or in gang like how they did this i do not know right like people say they use jazz but hey my god it's greater so how they did this i do not know so they came like the next person came to me and started talking about who he has things to sell yada yada like guys <laughs> i'm even embarrassed saying this because i don't think i've ever said this before like yeah my family members would know yeah and so they were like oh that's they were going to they had things to sell and all of that like to to be honest i didn't like at the end of the day i didn't fall for it to the glory of god because the point was i was going to like they asked me like we got to the point of them asking me oh where are you going i said i'm going to work and they're like oh do you work with large sum of money and i'm like yes like i usually go to the bank to pay in money and they were like okay about what time do you go to the bank and i'm like oh like once i get to the sh um to the shop now like i'll be going to pay the money into the bank like i would usually go pay in money into the bank like for a transaction and all and they're like okay when you get to the bank we're going to give you an account number so instead of paying it into the accounts that you're supposed to pay into send the money to us and they said if you tell anybody this thing you would die like i was i was scared right i was really scared like you it's not even funny i was really scared so i got to the shop and usually like how they said it was going to happen my uncle gave me the money to go pay into the bank and as like it was as if they knew as my uncle gave me the money they started calling me like thank god that like i did not take the call i didn't pick their calls i went into the bank paid in paid in the money into the right account and like that was how i wasn't scammed like it doesn't count for a scam but guys please stay safe like 
I was almost scammed, but your girl don't wise up. So, by the grace of God, I cannot be scammed. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> the next question, my first job. So I think my first job was a teaching job, right? Yeah, I was fresh out of, I think I was fresh out of secondary school and Nigerian University and JAM. I was, I think I was waiting for my JAM results and I didn't want to stay at home. I didn't want to just be idle and not do anything. So I applied to one school close by my house and it was actually fun because the children liked me a lot. Like they really, like they really, really, really liked me and I really enjoyed it at the time. It was really good. I think a teaching job was my first job and I was fresh out of, I was fresh out of secondary school. Okay, that was my first job. The next question is first makeup item. So my first makeup item would be a lip gloss. Like then in secondary school, we were always forming. Oh, we usually have this after less after school lesson. So after school, like in fact, every girl then would always have a lip gloss because mm, your lip got to be moisturized. So I think it was a lip gloss for me anyway. So the next question is the first YouTuber I subscribed to. I think the first YouTuber I ever subscribed to would be Dima Me. I stan. I stan. I everything stan. Like I've been following Dima Me for the longest, longest time. I think she's the first YouTuber I ever subscribed to. And it's been amazing since I've so, like no regrets ever. No regrets. The next question, my first tattoo. So my first tattoo would be well, I don't have a tattoo. No intentions having one, none. I don't have a tattoo at this point. And I don't have plans having a tattoo. Yeah. The next question is my first piercing. So I think my first piercing will be the piercing like my ear when I was born. So that's my first piercing. The next question is my first phone. I really cannot remember because I know that I have used I've used a lot of phones in this my lifetime. Like I've used a whole lot, but I really cannot remember my first phone. Lot. So I'm thinking either Nokia or Motorola. I can't remember. Like I really, I'm honestly trying to, but I'm thinking either in Nokia or in Motorola. Like one of it, but I like one of it. But I know I've used a whole lot of phones, but I can't really remember which one it was. But it's either in Nokia. Or in Motorola, yeah. Last question is the first instrument I ever played. Um, so I really was good with instrument when I was in primary school, like past glory. Anyway, I used to like I was in the music um, music club, yeah, music club. So I was part of the music club, and I used to play the flute. I was really good with the piano. In fact, I played on my graduation. Like I played the national anthem and the school anthem. Like I had the standing ovation. I was really good, but you know, they say practice makes perfect. Yeah. So I was really good. But since I stopped practicing, I lost, I lost it totally. Like I lost it totally. I don't even know my strings anymore, but I hope to learn. If I can, I will. But I think that's the end of this video. And I hope you liked it. Please. Please like, leave your comment, share, subscribe if you have not, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.